So here we go into the church. We were told that all the offerings, except we just see a ribbon, have been taken from the trees. So we have come. But obviously some people have been putting them back in, which is nice to see. And someone has left a message, which is what we wanted to come and find out. And if we can, we will read it. Taking down ribbons that are not harming you are left here as blessings and messages. I didn't know if you knew. Biodegradable, <coughs> I hear your plea. But have you ever researched what's in our seats or in the air we breathe? What you're doing is causing harm to hearts young and old. The trees don't mind the ribbons messages to the universe and those departed that they hold. It is akin to stealing all artificial flowers laid down on graves. All because it doesn't fit with you. Oh, please behave. These are metals beneath these works here at Knowlton Church and other remains you do not see maybe go find something else to make you happy all you do here is what exactly for these trees have told me they love to be filled with ribbons and everlasting love wishes and requests sent to above so please dear one please be gone or enjoy what will always be and we're just moving it a little bit ribbons candles upon these trees and that's very well said and it's true yeah, yeah pe people leave these messages here they're messages of love they're messages they're people that are hurt people that are hurting people that have lost loved ones they come here and they put their put their messages down i won't read that one out to you because it's personal but people We've done it. Me and Alison have been here. We've left messages in the trees. So, whoever it is, please, please leave them. They're not causing any harm to anybody. They're not. They're not causing any trouble. I don't know why they'd be taken down. But we've been here many, many times. Never ever before has it happened. But now we're here, and the trees have been stripped bare, apart from a few new trees. Maybe things that are here. As you can see, there are things on the trees. There's a few flowers, but everything. Obviously, new people have been since and put up ribbons. just sad to see that everything that people have been here and have brought a part of them, a part that's missing, a part that's departed, someone they love, whether it be husband, wife, son, dad, uncle, aunt, daughter, um, auntie, sister, godchild, even animals that they've lost. Maybe they can't go to where they're buried. Maybe it's in another country. Maybe it's up the country. This is a place that they came to with thoughts and memories, a place that they could revisit somewhere close to home. It's just so sad to see. And I had missed out granddad's grandma's so a lot of people have lost those and it's nice to see that some people have put their things back and yes Darren was right we also brought things of our loved ones that we miss so it's very you, sad if you ever come to a place with these amazing trees, these yew trees. Please, if you see something, please don't take it. Please don't remove it because it's been put there with with love. Put there 
someone's hurting, they're, they're upset about loss of something and they've left something just as to help them and you know to make them feel like they've still got contact with their loved one I suppose in a way because I mean at the end of the day these yew trees goes back years the message behind a yew tree is they're hollow inside and the idea is that it's uh, a stairway to heaven or wherever you believe your spirits go in the afterworld the spirits go up through the trees and they're any harm they're just here part of this place it's a very spiritual place obviously before the christians decided that they were the be all and end all it was pagans that used to come here with their celebrations and then the christians moved in and built the church and decided that christianity was the one religion i'm not i'm not religious but I'm not going to get involved in all that sort of thing, but it's just going to show that this place has had a lot, a lot going on. So helping make this place worse or make it upset, it's, just, it's not right. Well, now a lot of people don't agree with paranormal investigators, ghost hunters, whatever you want to call us. But at the end of the day, we're only here, we don't come here to cause danger. We don't come here to cause harm. We don't come here to annoy the spirits. We only want to talk. We're here to tell their story. Our the reason we set up Chasing the Unknown is to possibly find the unknown, possibly find the, the idea of spirits, and to tell their stories. People that have died, people that have lost their lives through whatever way, possible, whatever way they have. You know, Chasing the Unknown, we want to tell their story. Because when they pass, they can't tell their story. So we're here to try and do that. We don't investigate because we want to gain anything from it. We don't get any money from doing it. We do it because we want to tell their stories. We're, we're... And we like helping people, yeah. which we've helped people we've on done private investigations. Many, many investigations now. And coming back here today, it, it just the place just feels weird. It just feels completely different to normal. There's. Well, obviously this, what's happened here is a big thing, but when you pull up to the church outside on the road, it, it feels different. Everywhere you go, it just feels different here. I don't under, don't really understand why people want to change it. It's such a sacred place, surrounded by burial mounds, and people just come and want to come and ruin it for others. That's what's out there.